Well, just in the last couple of hours, the state Senate voted to override a Governor Holcomb veto. The controversial bill was actually vetoed last year. It deals with the landlord tenant rights and how much control cities should have. News 8's David Williams is live at the State House where debate today got heated. David. Several Senate Democrats said out loud they stand with and support Governor Eric Holcomb's original veto of this bill. Even some Senate Republicans voted no on the proposal, but it wasn't enough. I stand by the governor and his decision to veto this bill. I ask you to override the governor's veto. The bill would prevent individual cities from taking action on landlord and tenant matters, including expedited evictions. But the scariest thing about SEA 148 is that it also has language that says that it basically nulls and voids at the local level any other type of ordinance that um, impacts the landlord-tenant relationship. So our question is, does that mean even health and safety code violations can't be enforced? Monday, Senate lawmakers decided to override the governor's veto. It is time to allow Indianapolis and other local communities who all have different personalities, different needs, to have the ability, the flexibility that our state government allows for them to address what is most important to their community. Nothing we're doing here today is taking away something. Senator Yoder, fire alarms or smoke detectors are absolutely critical. I agree with you 100%. Nothing we're doing here affects that. Nothing. It's already in code. So what happens next? Well, I talk with the lawmaker and several press secretaries who tell me the bill now goes over to the House, where one of two things can happen. The House can also vote to override, or they can keep the veto in place. I'm told the House has until the end of session to decide what to do. For now, we're live at the State House. I'm David Williams. Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. David, thank you. The governor issued this statement to be sure we are still navigating through this once in a century pandemic. And therefore, I still believe this is not the right time for that overly broad language to have become law. While I obviously disagree with their decision to override my veto, I hope the General Assembly will take a careful look at how this new law will affect local residents and units of government. Well, local advocates with seven housing organizations protested the bill at the State House today. We talked with one man who had strong words for lawmakers. We want to encourage the State House to actually pass reforms, talk to families who have gone through eviction, talk to tenants about what they go through in this state to try to rebalance the landlord tenant system. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett says he is disappointed in today's veto override. In a statement to News 8, Hogsett said as many as 50,000 Marion County families would be or could be facing eviction. He said the city has distributed $33.5 million in rental assistance so far. Hogsett says he hopes the city can continue to have productive conversations with lawmakers to find solutions to protect renters from predatory landlords.